In this Space Engine video, we're going to be looking at a bunch of the built-in locations, including the biggest canyon in the solar system, Pandora and Polyphemus from Avatar, and the landing site of Apollo 11. So let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is planet Mars right here. So you can see that here's Mars. We can zoom out. This is the biggest canyon in the solar system. Space Engine is really cool. We can go and actually get really close and land on the surface and basically get a view of the canyon of what it would look like, which is insane. So just to put it into perspective how crazy this canyon is, it is 10 times longer, 20 times wider, and five times deeper than the Grand Canyon. So this takes up about the same um, size on Mars as the United States. You can see how wide it is too. Like from this point down to here, like it's so wide. From space, you can tell that this is thick. Like that's crazy. Okay, let's move on to Pandora. All right, so here's a simulation of Pandora and you can see Space Engine is a lot better than Universe Sandbox in terms of exploration. You can even see Pandora's got Northern Lights on here. Um, I mean, you can't really see it from the surface, but yeah, you can see Pandora is just beautiful. Very, very cool on the backside. You can even see it's got storms and all this forest stuff. There's not actually trees in Space Engine, so if we go and like land here, there's not gonna be trees, but you can see it'll load the detail. Very, um, like it's very cool how much it'll load, like up to the ground, it'll load grass. And you can just imagine all the trees and the deep forest and being able to go in all this water. So just Pandora here is be just beautiful. And it also has Polyphemus right there. So if you're on Pandora, Let's go like right where it's sunset and you look up in the sky, you could see Polyphemus looks just like that. It is insane, it is so cool. So um, it's actually tidally locked, Pandora is, and you can see that here by the Polyphemus isn't going around the sky, it's just staying still. And sadly in the simulation, the sun barely misses so there's no eclipse, which kind of sucks. Um, this simulation was made before the new Avatar came out. So um, they didn't know that there was eclipses, but I hope to see an update on this where you could see an eclipse because that would be very cool. You can watch the sun barely miss it. Just go right past it like that, which kind of sucks. But you could see the diverse landscape on Pandora and we got a few tropical storms it looks like. If we put it in a realistic lighting, this is more what it would look like um, realistically. And you can see it's got a couple small asteroids and stuff. So if we were to be able to see an eclipse, let's see what that would look like. So here's a tiny little asteroid that's also orbiting Polyphemus. So if we go and land on this now and look up in the sky, we should be able to see it go behind Polyphemus. Just like that. Beautiful. And the entire sky goes dark. Let's put it realistic. This is what it would really look like. If you're on the surface and looked up, that's what you would see. That's so cool. It's this giant white ring around. And then we can also watch the sun come back out. It just very gently went on the bottom. But this would be so cool to see in real life. Just look up in the sky and see this giant purple gas giant. Very, very cool. All right, now moving on to the Apollo 11 lander. All right, so here it is. Oh, I just flew away from it. The lander on the surface of the moon, you can see it is in a relatively flat area. Put it in a realistic lighting. A lot of people say that the moon landing was fake because you couldn't see stars, but if the sun was on you like this, you really couldn't see any stars in the sky. There's Earth. You can see Earth right there. And let's just zoom out and see where on the moon it landed. And this is all accurate um, mapping of the moon, which is really cool. Space Engine does a really good job of making things look realistic. Like that looks like the actual moon. Like you take a picture like this and you would think it's a real picture. It's kind of crazy. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this Space Engine video. If you wanna see more Space Engine content like this, let's get this video to 500 likes. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe too. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.